Hi, Pinball fans. It's Chris again. We're getting into part two of the series, and this part's going to cover removing components. Let's start by removing the socket for U8. It is best to pry this up carefully with a screwdriver. Do not try to desolder the pins from the back side and remove the socket all at once. This is a good way to ruin traces on the board. The single terminals can be removed after the plastic has been removed. A sponge is necessary for keeping the tip of your soldering iron clean. While removing components, it is easiest to clip the leads from the top of the board, remove the component, and then remove the leads. Grab onto the leads with the needle nose pliers, heat the solder with your soldering iron, and pull the leads out. Be careful only to cut leads on components that are in the kit. If you remove components that are not in the kit, carefully pull the lead out of the board and save the component to be reinstalled. Do not try to desolder components first.
As you remove components, leads can be curved over on the bottom of the board, making it difficult to remove them. Remove the U8 socket terminals one at a time. This is a hemostat. It is a handy tool because it locks onto the component and frees your hand to help pull the component out of the solder. Once you get to heavily corroded areas, you may need to use the hemostat to clamp to the terminal and heat the solder from the back of the board, pulling the terminal out with the hemostat. Don't worry about removing solder from the through holes until later. Once the U8 terminals are removed, start removing the components to the left and right of U8. Continue working your way through the lower left corner of the board. While heating badly corroded areas, keep the tip clean with the sponge. Use flux. Also coat the tip with solder. Push and twist into corroded solder to get the heat to transfer and melt the solder. Continue working from the front to the back of the board as necessary, heating areas that are the shiniest. The heat will transfer best from the tip of the soldering iron if the solder is shiny.
scrape off any loose material from corroded areas as you go. If your corrosion extends into areas beyond the typical corrosion zone and the component is not included in the kit, remove the component carefully for reuse later. This is a vacuum style solder removal tool or solder sucker. Depress the plunger, heat the solder, and depress the trigger to suck the solder into the solder sucker. You have now completed the removal of the components. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hopefully you're making progress on repairing your board. Please subscribe and like, and look for part three in the series, which will be removing the corrosion.